See at the Essential here. I'm Paladin Topaz. Welcome. Today we will be diving in to San Diego Comic Con Part 2. This will feature the Q&A and a little very special thing. Not going to take too much of your time up here, but I will go over everything that the Q&A from San Diego Comic Con had to offer. So without further ado, let's begin. First off, there was one really interesting piece of new information that came from San Diego Comic Con Q&A, and I think no better person could explain it than executive producer of Sea of Thieves, Joe Neat. So here's a section where he reveals a little bit of new information about some sort of feedback mechanic and rats. Uh, the kind of phrase of rats leaving a sinking ship is because the rats kind of live in the bottom of the ship where all the food is. And when the water starts coming on, that's when they kind of go up to the top of the ship and you'll see them like running around on the ropes and everything. And that was kind of like, that's kind of a feedback mechanic for your ship sinking, right? And so it was like straight away, we went back and put that in our prototype, like literally the next day. It was just like, that's amazing and perfect for the game, right? So that's, so that's something that you'll see in the game. If you see rats kind of running around on the top deck, then you know there's problems down, down below, right? <laughs> so in case you didn't quite understand what he was saying, a new mechanic revealed that rats will come from the bottom of the ship to the top deck of the ship in case when water fills up and your ship starts to sink, just to let you know you need to get out of there or do something about it real quick. Very cool idea, I really like it, and I think it's really cool how they it was inspired from real life. Up next is one very relieving little answer about storytelling and how it's going to work in Sea of Thieves and what the lore might be from, an, uh, again, executive producer Joni from San Diego Comic Con. There, there is going to be, there is a rich history to the world, right? Like, I think yeah. having, having a lore in place for the, for the world when the game is out there, you know, for players to come in, I think is really important. And we want to leave that for kind of players to discover because we think that's a really great activity for, for, for people. Um, and in terms of kind of different activities, there'll, there'll be quests to undertake if players want to do that, or you can just go out exploring the world, you can just go out and hunt other people down or whatever, right? like whatever, whatever, your, um, whatever your kind of uh, flavor of goal is. Um, but for us, the stories in the game, we want the kind of players to become the legends of the game, right? So there's no, there's no Blackbeard in, in our game, right? There's no kind of legendary pirate called Blackbeard. There's no Black Pearl kind of type ship. But we, we believe that the kind of activities players will undertake, um, the kind of the, the, uh, the, the stories that they share, the videos they, they create and everything else and how they show up in the community and in the game will lead to like players, their ships becoming the Black um, Pearl and, or they'll become the Blackbeard and, and become kind of the feared one. You, when you see their sails on the horizon and you recognize that ship, it's like, whoa, shit, like, oops, sorry. Um, <laughs> I was told not to swear and I did. Um, but, uh, but like that, that that's that's where the stories will come from and we want you know like as this game evolves and as it grows and as the community evolves and grows that's where the magic is going to come uh, from the game that's where the story is so to some of that explanation it basically means that players are going to be able to become their own pirate legends and be the pirate that they want to be and actually make a name for themselves in the game alongside there being some kind of lore story set in place for us to uncover of previous events that might have happened but we will also be making events that go down in history and this is something that a lot of games nowadays are trying to strive for because it gives players a sense of actual accomplishment and worth while they're playing the game I think that is very unique and I think it's been yet to been done incredibly well so I'm hoping that Rare really does hammer that nail in and get it done because that would be just an incredible mechanic to have. I mean you imagine you see somebody rolling down and you're like yeah I know what that ship is I know who sails that ship and I don't want to be anywhere close to it. And that's what we're going to be, guys. We're going to be the best ever, and people are going to fear us. Now, the last bit of information coming from San Diego Comic-Con, this amazing event, is a little bit cryptic. We're not exactly sure what it means, but it has to do with player customization, so I'll roll that for you right now. I would say in terms of that kind of player feedback and that kind of player request stuff, right, like our forums right now is the best place to go there and to kind of raise those discussions and, and kind of almost get support, I guess, from, from other players because we really are looking at what people are talking about, what they're saying. But I'll give you one thing. Um, like we have a bit of tech under the hood that's called the IPG, and I'm not going to tell you what that stands for. Um, but Ooh. like, uh, yeah. Um, Ooh. <laughs> that's trolling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I'll let you speculate on it. Um, but like, we, we, we're really excited about the potential for kind of the stuff, that, the kind of stuff that you're talking about. Um, yeah. So as for what IPG means, it, I could speculate all day, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Possibly something player generation, I don't really know, but it doesn't really matter. It's obviously a new kind of way players to customize 
their avatars in the game and that's going to be awesome i'm excited to see exactly what it is that they have in store for us it's exciting and they know that players want to be able to have control over that so it's good that uh we know that they know if you know what i'm saying <laughs> now the last and most interesting thing to come out of this event is i'm just going to play it for you now i could dissect it i could analyze it i could tear it apart piece by piece frame by frame but it won't do it justice and it won't add anything so I'm just gonna play play it for you right now and just tell you that this is the reason why I love this game and it basically sums up the beauty the gorgeous aesthetic and the atmosphere that this title will have for players to explore when we get in there and I couldn't be more stoked about it so just let the emotions fly That kind of made me speechless and that might be surprising for some of you but I don't really know what to say about it besides how gorgeous it is and just how beautiful that this game is gonna be and how many times I'm just gonna stop mid playing and look around because that's that's just why I'm interested in the game the art style is incredible they're doing such an insane job over there rare and I'm so stoked I encourage you guys to go back and rewatch that if you want to it's so good obviously links will be in the description down below for San Diego Comic Con and for the Sea of Thieves forum and for anything else you might be thinking about right now it'll be down in the description below thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it I couldn't appreciate it anymore this has been Paladin Topaz with Sea of Thieves Central remember to fight Krakens find the treasure and live that pirate life and also comment down below what you thought about that trailer, that art style trailer. Let me know what you thought about it. I would really appreciate it. And until next time, it's been Paladin Topaz for CP Central. Live that pirate life.